at a very basic level, how would you define wind energy? It's really harnessing God's creation of wind. It's harnessing that power of that energy. We all think of big wind here in California. We see big wind turbines out at Palm Springs and and across the Midwest and in other parts of the country. But as you know, offshore wind is a huge area. We have now become the dominant player in the wind industry. Back in the day, it was, you know, Germany and Spain and some of these other countries were really the dominant players. And about 2000, I think it was five, six, seven in that range, we really started to turn the corner and became a major dominant player. At the same time, we, we don't produce many of those wind turbines. We definitely employ them into our landscape. You know, obviously the big major players are China and obviously um, Europe plays a big role in that as well. Where do you see offshore wind going in the next 10 years? It's definitely on the increase. California is, you know, really recording record high contracts for offshore wind. There's just a lot of new designs out there as well that's going to increase the application of offshore wind and onshore wind. You're going to start to see a new class. It's not a new class, but it's a, a class that's coming into its own. It's called small wind or vertical access um, wind turbines. Now these vertical access turbines can be 10, 20, 50 feet, not, you know, not 300 feet. So there's lots of applications here, both in the suburban and industrial sectors. We're recommending them in industrial parks and transportation centers. You just want to be mindful of the space around you.